The Obama administration says it has heard the people on the East Coast and coastal communities and will not allow offshore drilling in the Atlantic, at least for the next few years. News 2's Raymond Owens joins us now from Breach Inlet on Sullivan's Island with the very latest. Raymond, give us an idea of what the president said today and the result. Well, basically, this offshore oil drilling issue has been uh, debated back and forth for a number of years uh, after the, uh, the tragedy there in the, the Gulf of, you know, the BP Horizon tragedy. Uh, it became even, there was even more, um, uh, if you will, uh, people that were against uh, offshore oil drilling. Uh, but that has basically been settled for the most part, at least for the next few years. The announcement came in the form of a tweet by the Secretary of the Interior. Next five-year offshore proposed plan protects the Atlantic for future generations. In January of 2015, President Obama's administration announced they were considering allowing offshore drilling in the Atlantic Ocean 50 miles off of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and the Virginia coasts. This decision reverses that. We were hoping that the Obama administration was listening to the people on the ground that would actually be impacted by this proposal and we found out today they were listening. Davis said this helps South Carolina stay beautiful for locals as well as tourists. Tourists told me they're happy to hear this. I think um, this is a beautiful place here in South Carolina. I live in Georgia and uh, we like it as pristine as we can keep it. I don't think it's going to hurt North Carolina, South Carolina to uh, just wait on uh, offshore drilling. The plan means no offshore drilling in the Atlantic through at least 2022. With the change in administration, change in Congress, we could see a new proposal down the road, but the hope is this takes us off the table until at least 2022. Now, kind of behind the scenes, uh, what happened to make this happen or to make this decision happen, uh, there was a number, there were a number of, of, of politicians that got involved and tried to uh, let their thoughts be known on the issue. Congressman Sanford, uh, as well as Mayor Riley here in Charleston, and Mayor Tecklenburg, uh, the new mayor of Charleston, uh, all, of, all of them uh, deeply involved, even the mayor here of Sullivan's Island, he, he was, uh, had talked to the State House about the issue, uh, but they said that they wanted this to stop and they were concerned about it because of possible environmental consequences if there was a tragedy off the coast. Reporting live from Breach Inlet, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2.